Tonight, we are digging deeper into the allegations made against Raleigh City leaders last night during the public comment part of the council meeting. Good evening. I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Liz Ortiz. For hours, pro-Palestinian speakers voiced concern, saying local dollars are going to Israel. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is getting answers on if those claims are true. Haley, what can you tell us? Well, city leaders tell me it is just not true. They say the city of Raleigh does not provide foreign an aid. And that's just one of the claims that officials are dispelling and refuting after last night's meeting. For hours Tuesday night, dozens of people addressing their concerns about the Middle East to Raleigh City Council leaders. You will not get my vote if you do not take action in supporting Palestine. On October 7th, Hamas terrorists attacked civilians in Israel, launching a war that continues to intensify more than a month later. In solidarity, from Raleigh to Palestine, resistance is justified. Many now calling for City Council to take a stance and sign a resolution. I'm here demanding a ceasefire. Others with strong allegations. Millions of Raleigh taxpayer dollars have been sent to Israel. In Raleigh, just in this city, there is $6.8 million that goes to Israel's weapons, which could instead fund 814 households with public housing for one year. There were also claims made that the Raleigh Police Department trains with the Israeli military. The residents of Raleigh are private citizens, not a paramilitary nor enemies of the state. To train our police force in this manner is to commit to an asymmetrical power imbalance that will only escalate the growing divide between law enforcement and the community. We looked into these claims going through the city budget ourselves. We did not find any local dollars allocated to Israel. A city representative tells us in part, quote, the city of Raleigh does not provide foreign aid. There are no direct appropriations within the annual budget to any companies that may have ties to Israel. Adding, we have not immediately identified subcontractors or suppliers for goods or services that we purchase who may have ties to Israel. Raleigh police are not training with Israel or Israeli organizations. Now, council has requested city leaders to continue to look deeper into past city expenses. Councilwoman Mary Black has also asked the council to review a, a resolution that Carborough passed last night, also calling for a cease file. We should get information about that review before the next city council meeting. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thanks for that update.